So welcome back to the Golden Gift Qualifier number one. We've got Shelty here, I bring life, as Kronos, Blue Trunks, top side of the top right side of the map, up against us up today, the lower left side of the map, Red Trunks, Kronos as well. So the beauty of Kronos on this map is you've really got the potential to go for some crazy proxy forward base because you can just build shit at home and then as soon as you've got line of sight of the other side of the map you can send the buildings across and you can also de deconstruct enemy docks, any military facilities, all that sort of thing. Quite a nice punishing sieve for this map. So we'll sup or will Shelty reign supreme today. But that player's already taking the docks. It'll be pretty passive, but we'll probably see a very aggressive water opening here from our players once they actually age up. But again, it'll be slightly awesome. delayed while they actually get the fishing boats out. Rely on that for the bulk of the, the bulk of their early food economy. So sup on both berries and his herdables. Well. Shelty's just on his herdable. I mean, just on his hunt. Cool. And Shelty deconstructing Sup's dock. Sup can look at doing the same thing to Shelty. So he probably will do so now. Turn in the favour. How about that? Just as your dock, just as your fishing boats are coming back to drop off. So they actually do drop off. While it's deconstructing, though, by the look of it. So early on, again, no real potential for aggression until we see classical age. But once we do, we'll probably see some fighting over the water. And whoever starts to accrue a little bit more resources on the land can look at, you know, shifting some buildings across, trying to deny a town centre of the opponent and even try and snipe some early citizens and try and snowball the game from there on both the water and the land. So it's a map that's often quite punishing early on, like I don't think this is actually going to last particularly long, considering we're what, it's about a fifth, almost a quarter of the way through and we're only three minutes in, so I think Whoever gets the upper hand here on either the water or the land will be able to snowball into having it in both and then seal the game from there. Alternatively, the maps can actually go on quite a while and players end up stretched out across the three settlements in some weird base positions. Like, look at this, if, if you were sup, you'd either have to maintain here or maintain here. And Shelty, similar boat. I mean, well, it's not too bad being across these three, but if you've got to go across these three, it can be quite weird and sup can really sort of encourage that so Shelsey going for the faster age up here getting Prometheus I think both our players will opt to do so gonna shift the temple already So both our players looking to forward shift temples and harass with the Promethean that they're going to get for free on Age Up, as well as they'll be able to use Valatech, so they'll both have hero oracles. Sup will be bringing his in together now to stack them up to do, use the power as well. So we've got ourselves a good old fashioned base race here. Shelty a little bit quicker on harassing the docks for the minute. Such age up. 
slightly slower, so it'll be a first round of bireams actually in this time. These guys are going to be able to support back at home. The temple being shifted back home as soon as the Promethean is spawned, because I think Sup's realizing the onus is on him to defend here, because Shelty is instantly harassing the citizens with his Prometheans as well as, you know, sending more. Now Sup's going to be able to try and harass some villagers in response, but it's had to be a bit slower on these Byreams, so Shelty's actually managed to squeeze in one more, and now the second. So overall he is up on the water. He just needs to try and get on this woodline, but at the same time, there's already a mana there, so he's going to want to take out the sentry towers first. And he is having to fight a slight uphill battle here. Although those docks with garrison fishing boats able to deal a little bit of damage as well. Support the Byrams, support the troops. So Shelty deconstructing a dock here. He's actually trailing the Byram count now, so he's having to back off. He's harassing some citizens here. Ooh, Sup should be able to win those fights. Seven. Seven on the water at the moment. But with more Prometheans being spawned, Sup potentially going to lose a citizen here. As well as... Sentry Tower, which meant Wager, does have a citizen in it as well. So I'm trying to hit the other wood line here of Shelty. Surrounding the citizen, so he should be able to get it. Ooh, it manages to get us just in the nick of time. Very nicely done. Players, the citizens have taken Gigi? a bit of a beating Gigi? now. Shelty got to focus down these two Prometheans. He's definitely win that fight there, but he's just going to, you know, either bring him back together or he's just not paying attention to it. Ooh, actually, ooh, I don't know who he's best off picking off. That one actually is slightly lower. So he will go for it, but it's a bit of a bait. He probably should have just stayed on this one over here. Oh. Sup, will he be able to get this citizen? I don't think so. Scorpos? Yuji? Yeah, so the citizen ultimately does win the fight there. Scorpos? There is. Still one last hero oracle to hit her on the land. Sup, and he. So to say, I thought he was winning that fight there, but no. Shelty. Land aggression. Going to be slightly stronger here. Forcing another garrison to defend with yet another Promethean. So Shelty keeping him busy on the water as well, so he's not able to just... Ooh, another citizen going down. I was going to say, not able to just invest in a counter barracks and a military bar barracks here, which you probably really would like to, just to finish off this defense and then start pushing on the land once he shifts them over. For the time being, Shelty, this is a great spot for him to be in. He's even... Fighting a nice battle there on the water. Most of those low citizens have been picked off now by Sup, so. I mean, by Shelty, sorry, but Sup seems to have recovered. He's got plenty of barreams now. Pushing out on the water once again, he's able to keep fishing. Scopos, and he's just Scopos. tying up another worker here of Shelties. And bearing in mind, these citizens are equi equivalent of about 2.8, 2.7 regular workers in all regards, except uh, um, farming. I think they're actually not quite that good in terms of farming, but they don't scale up to being about triple. But yeah, for the other resources, it's 
it is about triple, so for every one of these guys dying, it's like killing two and a half to three villagers on another sieve. It's pretty impactful. It looks like Shelty's definitely been ahead on the land here. Managed to get out a couple more low citizens compared to Sup, I think. The water. It's been a bit of a back and forth, and every time Sup fights inside his tower, his uh, dock range, he's able to use some like towers to really bring himself back here. And sort of accrue all the value that he's he lost out in the initial trades, but there is a military barracks here for Shelty, which. Should mean he should be able to get the ball rolling. Ooh, a couple of idlers there for Sup as well. He needs them desperately to get on some source of food. Oh, he's garrisoning them to yeah, get them on wood. Mana being evacuated out of there, but it won't make it in time. So it'd be an expensive loss there for Sup. I have to try and get another mana here and try and get his own military or counter barracks out here to defend this. Can't just fight with citizens for too much longer. No matter how good your micro is. Shelty now fighting up just outside of the dock radius now, so he should be able to try and creep ahead there considering he I think he is up on citizens at the moment. And his overall population is definitely up. Able to keep these gold gatherers busy while Sup trying to get the gold that he needs in order to try and get one of these counter barracks up and maintain his production of these buy rings. That's right now, Shelty's pushing Ooh. under the docks. He's taken out just about all the buy rings, and if he can interrupt this gold gathering once again, it'll be quite a pain for Sup, but. Looks like he's just going to try and actually tear down the docks. All subs, just trying to mm -hmm. spit out enough biremes here. So Mermillo, counter barracks being shifted in, and Mermillo just mm -hmm. slowing down citizen gathering once again. Another one should probably come in and hit these other two or three. Sup, it's a real uphill battle for him at the moment. I don't know if he's going to be able to field any land military from here because he's just really running out of gold trying to maintain the barium production and GG Shelty takes their game number one.